this is frustrating. This is frustrating because like, I, I really thought the last take I did of this video was really, really good. And then I started editing on my computer and my hair was messed up. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing really well. It is less than a month until colleges around the country start up. I, I had to think if like all colleges in the world are the same, but they're not, they're definitely not. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited to get back out to Liberty. I'm excited uh, for my last couple of years that I got to finish up. So I started thinking the other day about uh, what I want to do on this YouTube channel. And one of the things that really frustrated me when I was going into college is I couldn't find a lot of videos around topics that I wanted to hear about. And a lot, just the way my mind works, a lot of this revolved around money and finances and paying for things and how expensive is it and yada, 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 yada. This video, um, I'm kind of going to start doing a couple of videos about like college finances, I guess, and just maybe, you know, what you should and shouldn't do. So without further ado, today's topic is should you get a credit card in college? My answer, probably not. I think most kids should avoid credit cards in college. They're very expensive um, if you're putting a lot of stuff on them. If you use it responsibly, I totally get it. I'm a kid that has a credit card in college and I, you know, for me it's fine. But I feel like for a lot of kids, it's just a lot of extra responsibility that they have to manage. Let's go into the reasons why I believe you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't have a credit card. So the first thing that comes to my mind is College debt is already a huge issue for a lot of students. So getting a credit card and giving them more debt to work with isn't the solution to anything. It just seems like a really irresponsible thing, especially if you do have college loans. And uh, you know, I think at that point, you know, you should definitely try to avoid the credit card. Number two, the big thing that uh, that comes to my mind is college kids lack the income to pay off these cards. If you have a consistent income, I totally get it. If you if you can have a consistent income, live in college and, you know, do everything you want to do, great. But for a lot of kids, they don't have part-time jobs or if they do, they're not being paid very well. And it's just really tough to keep up um, with any payments that you might have on a credit card, you know, if you don't have a whole lot of income. The third thing I have here is most kids will only pay the minimum, the minimum payment required on their credit card, which actually it's pretty harmful if you're just paying the minimum amount. It might not be hurting your credit score, but you're most likely spiraling into more debt anyway, just because APR, especially on student credit cards is so high. So paying the minimum amount isn't the way to do it. I feel like a lot of college kids probably do that because they don't have a huge income to work with anyway. The fourth thing is if you're looking at getting a credit card for the rewards, for the points, for the cash back, it's usually not worth it, especially on a lot of student credit cards. I know some people that get 5% cash, cash back, but it only applies to certain things and it constantly changes. So you have to keep up to date on what you can get cash back on and what you can't, which just seems kind of tedious to me. The credit card that I have, it's 1% cash back and 1% cash back, it's not really worth it because to get a thousand dollars, you have to spend a hundred thousand on that credit card, which would take me a while to do. Let alone if I put a hundred thousand on that credit card, that'd be pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> so those are kind of the, the four big things that come out uh, in my mind on why you shouldn't get a credit card. Now, I know there's probably a lot of kids watching this video thinking, hey, I want a credit card. I think I can do it. I think I can handle the responsibility. And I get that. I was one of those kids. I still am one of those kids. So it's what I've done is I put together another four things on just some tips and tricks, you know, that you need to keep in mind with your credit card. First thing, if you get a credit card, don't max it out right away. I don't know why, but that seems to be a trend with some kids. They get a credit card, they see that, oh man, I got a $300 credit limit. And they just start swiping it everywhere. And within two weeks or a week or a day, They've used all their credit and they have to pay it off now in order for them to use the card again. That's not any way to live. <laughs> 
living in debt, that's not a great way to live, um, especially on the credit card. Now I totally get it. It's not always the case. You know, if you're responsible, you're probably not gonna be the type of person to max it out right away. Uh, but that is de definitely something that some kids uh, who lack self-control will definitely do. Number two, the big thing here is set a budget. What expenses do you have? What income do you have? Uh, how much of that expense is gonna be put onto a debit card? What of that, what expenses are gonna be put onto a credit card? These are things that you kind of have to weigh, um, just kind of, you know, either on paper or I have a budgeting software on my computer that I use. And it's just kind of a thing that you have to weigh in your head as well. Uh, just to make sure you stay on top of things. Number three, and this is a big one. This is a big one. This is a massive one. Don't miss a credit card payment. Don't do it. It's crazy bad for your credit score. It's probably one of the biggest things that can drive down your credit score. I've never missed a payment and I don't plan on it because APR is outrageous anyway. Like on a credit, on my credit card, it's like 28%. And that's just horrible. That's just horrible. Don't miss, don't miss payments, make them on time. If you're like me, I pay mine off uh, basically every week. I put a, a lot on my credit cards and I just pay them off every week. Makes things pretty easy. The last thing is if you're getting a credit card for emergency purposes only, it's probably not a great reason to get a credit card anyway. Emergency purposes, that's why we have insurance and getting a credit card as insurance is not the smartest thing that you should be doing. I've seen some kids uh, some friends even, they have an emergency credit card and their emergency is getting gas so they can drive to the beach on the weekend. It's not a real emergency. I don't know why I gave it a thumbs up. It's a thumbs down. It's not a real emergency. You know, I mean, it's different, I think, if you have sat down with your parents and you have a credit card set up under your parents' name that you are using. Obviously, if you've discussed and agreed with something with your parents, that's totally different. Where I have, you know, essentially no agreement with my parents on how to use my credit cards. I did the credit cards entirely on my own. And uh, that's just, you know, it's just one of those things I just did. So the reason I make this video is, so when I got my credit card my freshman year, I did pretty good in the beginning uh, about uh, using it only when I needed to, essentially. But af looking back now, there was a couple of times where I could have ended up in trouble uh, with the credit card. Specifically, I remember there was one time I was sick and I was really tired of walking to the dining hall. So I thought to myself, let's go to Walmart, buy some food so I don't have to leave the dorm room. So I go to Walmart, I put $50 on my credit card in groceries, essentially. I come back, three days later, I get an email saying, your charge has posted to your account. And I looked at the account, you know, $50. And then I looked at my bank account and it said $4. So I had $4 to pay off $50 of credit card. And uh, I felt pretty scared. I knew instantly I had to find some way to pay it off. And I did figure out a way to pay it off. I found, you know, some web design work, whatever. But it was one of those things, it was pretty scary. And I just needed to get it paid off. And I feel like a lot of kids probably find themselves in that position uh, early on. And luckily mine was only $50. Anyway, that's just kind of my short video on credit cards. Um, I don't think that they're necessary, but I totally get, you know, a college kid wanting to get a credit card. It builds credit, um, which is great down the road. And, uh, you know, it can, it's one of those things that is kind of a uh, rite of passage into adulthood, but you gotta be careful with it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you want more content like this one where I'm just kind of giving some college tips. I really have like a bunch of like financial things going through my head right now when it comes to college. So I kind of want to do content around that. Um, comment what you want. I would really appreciate that too. So anyway, I'll see you guys later and uh, have a great week, everybody.